Karibu sana definitely ndani ya bunge la maisha na kama alivyokueleza ni kwamba tuko na president wa Law Society of Kenya Eric Theory is in the house good morning 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 how are you uh, fine thank you uko salama ah uh, niko sawa kabisa uko sawa kabisa niko tunjo <laughs> umedrive ama umekuja na matatu ama umekuaje <laughs> Eh hey, nimedrive. Umedrive eh? Mm-hmm. Aso bado bei ya mafuta haijakuwa 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 haijakufinya sana. Ina, inafinya lakini sasa tutafanyaje? <laughs> <laughs> Hakuna otherwise. Hakuna no, nyingine. All right. Mm. So moja kwa moja nafikiri toka tunaingia katika mazungumzo yetu ya asubuhi ya leo na definitely kwenye ukurasa wa kwanza wa gazeti la The Standard mm-hmm. asubuhi ya leo uh, Mr President na it's back to the streets. Na anasema kwamba azimio leader say they will not resume by partisan talks because government is pushing the finance bill that will worsen cost of living meaning demonstrations are the likely next step Mr President what's your take Well um it's obvious mm-hmm. that um if the government has its way and implements Uh, the various provisions that are in the finance bill mm-hmm. that um there is going to be a likely increase mm-hmm. in the cost of living mm-hmm. uh there are also some good things in the finance act okay um and i think that uh, at this point the leadership of the country uh, both those who are in the majority and those who are in the minority mm-hmm. actually this is the point when they should engage in bipartisan discussions mm-hmm. the concept of bipartisan discussions is one that you find in a system of government uh, that is largely presidential okay. the presidential system of government means that uh, there'll be a majority side and a minority side mm-hmm. it is not often that the majority would be the one in government okay. so it is possible that the president could be coming from the minority side mm-hmm. so what it basically means is that the decisions of government are largely driven by the leader of majority of minority depending mm-hmm. on where uh, the president comes from so if the president has the majority then the leader of majority will drive government business okay. if the president doesn't have majority then the leader of minority mm-hmm. uh, would drive uh, government business in the house mm-hmm. and that is the place where bipartisan discussions ought to be held mm-hmm. uh, in a system uh, in, in a situation such as we're finding ourselves Uh, where there is a finance act that has extremely harmful uh, provisions but also s- uh, some extremely good provisions mm-hmm. uh, the discussions then should be towards trying to find how do we cushion and soften uh, the impact of those extremely harmful uh, provisions of uh, of the law okay so uh, whereas um you cannot uh, comment when uh, uh, um, the leadership of a coalition decides that it is going to engage in protest i think that also uh, even as they engage in protest because that is a constitutional right that they have and they choose how to engage in it i think that uh, it would also be appropriate mm-hmm. that they take the necessary measures uh as a leadership of the minority side mm-hmm. uh, to ensure that as the bill goes to the floor of the house they actually put in practical proposals that are intended to reduce the cost of living and cushion the businesses and ordinary members of the public uh, from the harsh effects of the various provisions in the finance act okay uh, kwa kusema kwamba kuna mazuri katika mswada wa kifedha wakili haya mazuri ni yapi uh quite a number it in terms of uh tunaweza kuzungumza kwa Kiswahili tunaweza jaribu Kiswahili kidogo tunaweza jaribu Kiswahili kidogo lakini si unajua si ile Kiswahili ile haina shida unaweza kuchanganya tu bora bora tunaelewana tu bora tunaelewana ehe ya 
ya, ya KCS ile ya uh, asile <laughs> sile ya mgaga na upo hali <laughs> walimkavu <laughs> <laughs> yes so let me just um what's an easy is yangalie kidogo kwenye okay ile memorandum ya law society ambayo tulite tulitengeneza uh-huh. uh because tuliweza ku angalia kuziweka kando kwa kando. Okay. Uh, zile provisions ambazo zinasaidia wananchi, mm-hmm. zile provisions ambazo zinasaidia KRA. Okay. Atukaweza kusema kuwa sasa kuna kuna, kuna haja ya ku kuangalia uh, kwa wingi uh, kwa wingi uh, proposals ambazo ziko kwa finance act. Alright. Wingi wao mm-hmm. uh, tunazipinga kwa sababu zinata zi, zi, sababisha kuongezeka kwa gharama ya maisha mm-hmm. kuna zile ambazo um, KRA imeenda ime, ime, ime t- kutumia uh, uh, finance bill mm-hmm. ukienda koti ukishinda KRA na kesi mm-hmm. na koti ikisema iki kuwa uh, ikifanya interpretation ya provision ya sheria ambayo mm-hmm. si vile KRA ilikuwa inataka mm-hmm. kitu kama cho KRA inafanya kwa finance bill inatu, inaleta Uh, msua, uh, inaleta uh, proposal ya ku defeat mm-hmm. the court case okay. so kare inatumia sheria uh, kujiweka at a different level mm-hmm. uh, than the taxpayer okay. so kwa mfano utapata kuwa anasema ukishin uki, ukiwa, uki, ukiwa na kesi kuhusu uh, ambayo umeenda kotini wanataka uweke 20% of the cost mm-hmm. ile ome, ome propose okay kwa hiyo na na koti uh, KRA pia imekuja kotini kusema uko na deni yao. Mm-hmm. Wewe umeenda kotini kusema kuwa uh, sina hiyo deni. Mm-hmm. Mbona ikiwa wewe unapinga assessment ya KRA ndio unaambiwa uweke deposit mm-hmm. lakini KRA haiweki deposit. Uh-huh. Unaelewa? Mm-hmm. So kuna vitu kama hizo ambazo uh, z- ziko pale mm-hmm. uh, ili kuweza ku uh, kufanya KRA iwe na mkono mzito zaidi mm-hmm. uh, kuliko uh, kuliko um, taxpayers okay. so uh, sana sana uh, um, zile provisions ambazo tumeona unaweza unaweza kuchanganya lugha it's, it's okay wakili tuta, 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 it's okay it's okay it's okay it's okay it's allowed it's allowed yeah. uh-huh. Sana sana ukiangalia zile provisions ambazo um, uh, KRA ziko ambazo kwa, kwa finance bill mm-hmm. ni vitu ambazo zinafanya clarity the bring more clarity mm-hmm. on uh, questions of interpretations okay. uh, which which we have seen and which we have commended mm-hmm. but ni the the focus should be more on the harmful okay. uh, provisions uh-huh. which which i think Uh, because the finance act will not always have bad provisions okay. we expect that kwa sababu naelewa tuseme kama wafanya biashara mm-hmm. tuseme kitu kama housing fund for example yes uh, ile njia ambayo serikali inatumia ni njia ambayo itaumiza kila mtu okay kwa sababu inasema ukatwe 3% mm-hmm. uh, employer wako akatwe 3% mm-hmm in effect yake ni nini mm-hmm. pesa yako ambayo ile unapata inapungua okay. ile mapato ambayo uh, mfanyikazi wako anapata baada ya kukulipa kwa sababu kuna kuna cost ya mm-hmm. biashara si ndio mm-hmm. cost ya biashara includes salary and wages Alright. so kama ana, ana, ana amepanga biashara yake anajua nitafanya hivi pesa zitakuja nitaweza kulipa hao wafanyakazi na pia nitabakia na kitu mm-hmm. akiwa na wafanyakazi wengi hiyo 3% itamfanya aanze kufikiria nipunguze wafanyakazi wangapi mm-hmm. ili nipunguze gharama ya, okay. ya kufanya biashara no. sasa uh, linganisha hiyo na na serikali kusema kuwa uh, Uh, tuko na shida ya manyumba mm-hmm. tunataka kusaidia watu wapate nyumba mm-hmm. katika zile tax zote ambazo tuna collect tutachukua bilioni moja ama bilioni mbili mm-hmm. tupatie national housing mm-hmm. uh, corporation okay. alafu 
wale watu wote ambao watakuwa wanataka kujenga tutawapatia tax incentives mm-hmm. yeah? mm-hmm. ukileta mashini tutakupunguzia kodi mm-hmm. ukileta ukinunua simiti yeah? mm-hmm. tutakupunguzia kodi mm-hmm. ukinunua chuma tutakupunguzia kodi okay. ukitaka mafuta ya, ya ambayo pengine ya, ya, inahitajika kufanya kitu fulani tutakupunguzia kodi mm-hmm. wakati unapewa nyumba tutakupunguzia kodi mm-hmm. wakati wale watu wana wananunua wa, wa, nyumba kulingana na umsimu um wa housing ambao tumefanya mm-hmm. au watu pia tutawapunguzia kodi tutawapatia tax reliefs tutafanya nini mm-hmm. so that serikali inatumia taxes mm-hmm. eh, kufanya watu ambao wanataka kufanya biashara wale wafanyi wa, wa, biashara wa uh, private developers wawe na incentive ya ya, ya ku, ku, kuingia na kujenga mashamba. Okay. So waambie tutakupatia shamba kwa bure, tutakupatia ujenge, kisha jenga, mm-hmm. tengeneze pesa zako, kisha tengeneza pesa zako, uchukue faida yako. Mm-hmm. Aha, na uuzie wale ambao wako wili. Okay. Wakishanunua ama tutapeane kriteria mm-hmm. ya watu wale ambao inatakiwa wanunue mm-hmm. ikuwe either ni mtu mmoja ama mtu ama civil servant ama mtu wa aina gani so that serikali ina, ina control mm-hmm. how that process is done but the money is not government money raised through taxation mm-hmm. but it's private so you give incentives okay and that is where we are having a problem mm-hmm. with many of the provisions in the finance act okay. because you need to lazima uangalie ujiulize utatumia kodi kwa njia gani because you cannot tax a country to prosperity mm-hmm ya yeah. mm-hmm. that ukitaka kufanya kitu utaenda kuchukua kodi kwa watu ukitaka kufanya kitu utaenda kuchukua lazima uangalie uone mm-hmm. how do you balance how mm-hmm. do you use taxation mm-hmm. to encourage businesses to employ more people mm-hmm. to spend more money to create opportunities mm-hmm. and when you have private private developers uh, being given government incentives mm-hmm. to be able to employ more people mm-hmm. to be able to generate more money you grow the country because it is the wealth iko spread okay lakini hivi vile uh, uh, ukiangalia tuseme kama kwa mfano uh, bado tunatumia housing fund mm. vile inataka kutumika no. yeah mm-hmm. uwezi elewa hizo pesa sasa mkishazipata zitatumika kwa njia gani mm-hmm. what will be the net effect okay. yeah, itawekwa hapa itawekwa hapa mm-hmm. how will it translate okay. yeah mm-hmm. into uh, 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 building the economy. Okay. You ask yourself, kuna watu ambao wanafanya kazi tuseme Garissa, mm-hmm. Marsabit, uh, uh, Hola, you know you are zile sehemu ambazo zime ziko inje mm-hmm. ya yeah, yeah, the main, you know, the main cities and the big towns. Mm-hmm. Au watu watapata manufaa namna gani? All right. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Kwa sababu ukienda kujenga nyumba tuseme kama uh, uh, Hola. Mm-hmm. Uh, Moyale, mm-hmm. Marsabit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nani ataenda kununua hizo nyumba? Mhm. Si ndio? Okay. Lakini kama hautajenga kule mbona basi uchukue pesa zao mm-hmm. kujenga nyumba mahali kama uh, machakos mm-hmm. yeah, kitui mm-hmm. mahali ambao hao watu hawezi kuja kununua nyumba kule. Okay. Na, 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 na wakili ili swala la kusema kwamba um, tutawakata lakini kama huhitaji nyumba baada ya miaka saba, tutakurudishia pesa yako are we genuine in this that that is exactly where the problem is okay yeah uh-huh. that is exactly where the problem is uh-huh. because kitu ya kwanza lazima tujiulize swali moja na serikali pia lazima ijiulize swali moja mm-hmm. e housing levy ni nini mm-hmm. ni tax ni levy ni contribution mm-hmm ni saving okay lazima tujiulize swali moja mm-hmm. sio mm-hmm. eh, tujue ni nini kwanza mm-hmm. wakili umeelewaje by the way hii ni tax hii ni levy hii ni fund hii ni saving what is it sisi vile tunaielewa uh-huh. ni tax okay ni tax kwa sababu uh-huh. ime 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 lazimisho kwako uh-huh. na sheria okay kitu ya kwanza uh-huh. kitu ya pili ya inakatwa ya na ina ina ina, ina, ina katua, kabla ulipwe mm-hmm. na, na uh, mfanyika, uh, employer asipokukata 
kuna consequences mm-hmm. kwa employer okay so in as much as um, tunaweza kuwa na argument whether it is a tax or not mm-hmm. but the way it is implemented makes it a tax because it's mandatory okay yeah mm-hmm. it is mandatory mm-hmm. but kuna wengine wanasema hapana si tax mm-hmm. uh, ni levy okay yeah Rambia, but levy you see levy is it's just a different way of administering a tax mm-hmm. Ukisikia wengine watakwambia hapana hii ni, ni kama contribution kwa sababu uh, baada ya miaka saba kama uitaki kama utaki nyumba utarudishiwa pesa yako uh, sasa ni kama contribution mm-hmm. but contribution naye uh, ni voluntary mm-hmm. uh-huh. si lazima si lazima ni kuja na kuomba na kuambia uh, ni, ni, ni kuna mchango wa harusi kwa mfano kwa harusi hey. ama nini ni hiari yangu kama hey. nitakuchangia ama sitakuchangia ta... uh-huh. and then kama ni kama kama ni saving sasa mm-hmm. vile mm-hmm. ama kama ni contribution uh, uh, mandatory contribution na uh, mwisho utalipa utarudishiwa na utarudishiwa na interest rate mm-hmm. basi mbona usiniambie takurudishia na interest rate ya 10% okay. 20% mm-hmm. ndio mimi mwenyewe niweze kuangalia ni sema ah lakini mimi na biashara zangu zingine zitanileta interest mm-hmm. kubwa kuliko hii mm-hmm. acha niende kule okay. so that is where the problem is mm-hmm. and and you can tell as easy vitu zote nzuri tujaribu kuambiwa oh you will get your money back or mm-hmm. whatever 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 mm-hmm. is intended to ensure that the tax goes through okay yeah but i i don't think uh, it is genuine mm-hmm. because if it was genuine then uh, ingekuwa you know you would have had proper rules mm-hmm. set out that this is how it's going to be mm-hmm. Uh, this is how it's going to be administered mm-hmm. so that you can you also know who to hold to account to okay. you know there has to be contract okay. yeah mm-hmm. ila kusema lakini kitu muhimu and this is what uh, I, I, i want uh, uh, what to serikali kuweze ku understand mm-hmm. that katiba kitu ambacho katiba ina chunga zaidi mm-hmm. It's what you call choice. Okay. Mhm. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Kwa hivyo we ukipewa mshahara wako ukiamua utaenda nipige sherehe. Pige sherehe. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Uingie Friday, upige sherehe mpaka Tuesday. Mm-hmm. Pesa ziishe alafu urudi kazini. Mm-hmm. It's your choice. Yeah. Mimi nikilipwa nikiamua hapana wacha niende niweke saving niweke nifanye nini mm-hmm. nifanye nini mm-hmm. it's my choice yeah. na ukiangalia serikali mm-hmm. kuna mkataba kati ya serikali na wale ambao in uh, the, 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 the people of the, of the Kenya mm-hmm. huyo mkataba ni constitution mm-hmm inasema tutawaweka kwenye serikali okay. lakini mkiingia kwenye serikali mtafanya mambo mm-hmm. fulani okay. kulingana na huu mkataba. Okay. Huo mkataba wasema nini? Huo mm-hmm. mkataba wasema kuwa ni jukumu la serikali mm-hmm. kuhakikisha I have a good environment. Mm-hmm. I have access to clean water. Okay. I have access to reasonable medical facilities. Mm-hmm. I have access to good housing. Mm-hmm. So kisheria jukumu la kuhakikisha kuwa tunapata manyumba mm-hmm. na adequate housing mm-hmm. ni jukumu la serikali alright na ukifika pale serikali haina choice mm-hmm. mimi nina choice nitaamua kulingana na vile na, 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 naangalia maisha yangu mm-hmm. zile pesa na, ambazo napata nikitaka kujenga then nita weka savings nitaenda kwa sako nitafanya nini nitachukua loan nijijenge okay but that's my choice mm-hmm. but serikali haina hiyo choice mm-hmm. serikali is obligated by the constitution kuhakikisha kuwa imefanya vitu ni jukumu lao ni serikali ni jukumu lao no. sasa tukija kwa hizi ambazo ni social economic rights mm-hmm. kuna mahali ambapo serikali itasema ndio niweze kuhakikisha kuwa umepata health and health services mm-hmm. nimetengeneza NHIF mm-hmm. 
na ndio tuweze kufanya kuhakikisha kuwa unapata uh, uh, good services mm-hmm. yeah. utalipa hii levi kidogo okay. uh, 200 ama 300 ile ambayo imekuwa provided for under NHIF mm-hmm. kuhakikisha kuwa hata wale ambao hawako kwenye uh, formal employment mm-hmm. and that is how you use now taxation okay. to spread the best so that you are now saying you are putting in resources as a government for provision of health services mm-hmm. but not everyone mm-hmm. is in formal employment okay. that unatumia wale ambao wako in employment kupunguza burden yao kwa sababu kitu moja wakati wafanya kazi na hauna uko na unatoka una, una kwa familia mm-hmm. kuna wale kwa familia yako ambao usipo kama hawawezi pata good health services no. it is a cost on you okay because relative wako akiwa mgonjwa atakuja akwambia ah, turushie kitu tuko na mchango na, kwa sababu hawana uwezo ni kweli unaelewa ndio mm-hmm. maana kuwa ndio maana unaona sasa serikali inaingiza kitu kama NHIF mm-hmm. ili kusema kuwa wakati unapofanya kazi tu uchangie kidogo kwa wale ambao hawana kazi okay. so that pia wao waweze kupata health services yes. lakini ukiwa kwenye kazi unaangalia utasema mimi hii NHIF hainitoshi mm-hmm. una choice mm-hmm. unalipia medical insurance mm-hmm. unaelewa mm-hmm. sasa pale ndio mahali tunatafautisha uh, the scheme kama ya, ya NHIF na whatever ndio maana kuna national housing corporation okay. yeah? mkono wa serikali ambayo unatakiwa kufanya nini unatakiwa kuwa unajenga kusaidia serikali ku provide uh, ku provide affordable housing for everyone mm-hmm. ndio hiyo maana anasema ni jukumu la serikali mm-hmm. sasa hivi vile serikali inavyofanya ni kutafuta njia rahisi ili wasiende bunge waseme tupatiane bilioni mbili ama bilioni tatu to national housing mm-hmm. ili waweze kujenga manyumba mahali manyumba yanahitajika mm-hmm. kwa sababu haya manyumba hayahitajiki kila mahali kwa huo kwa huo msimu pengine hapa Nairobi tunaweza sema kuna shortage ya housing so tunataka as a matter of priority tuanze Nairobi ama tuende Mombasa mm-hmm. tupatie Mombasa ina less housing than Nairobi okay. so tuanze na Mombasa and then tutakuja Nairobi and that is what a responsible government is supposed to do okay. so ukiangalia uh, the scheme of things unajiuliza hizi pesa hizi pesa mwazihitaji mwazihitaji kufanya fanya nini okay. na um, kwa upande wa finance bill um, wakili na ukiwa kama uh, president wa LSK Law Society of Kenya stand yenu ni ipi haswa are you for the bill or not maana kikiwa meainisha au me umekategorize ya kwamba haya ndo mazuri haya ndo mabaya muko wapi haswa wakili Um, tumesema vitu vitatu kwenye finance fanya kwenye mm-hmm. finance bill mm-hmm. kitu ya kwanza okay. the tax burden mm-hmm. must be shared equitably okay. kuna provisions kwenye act za sema kuwa wale ambao wana earn mshahara 500,000 mm-hmm. and above mm-hmm. tax yao itakuwa 35% mm-hmm. which is an increase Okay. in the tax mm-hmm. for people earning above 500,000 mm-hmm. it has to be lazima iangaliwe in terms of fairness okay. yeah mm-hmm. na hao wengine so those are some of the uh, some of the things which we'll be looking at okay kitu cha pili that tax must be used huh? mm-hmm. to spur economic development yes kitu cha tatu mm-hmm. that tax must be consistent with the constitution okay and the rules on public finance and management okay so those are the three uh, principles mm-hmm. main principles okay so every every provision in the finance act mm-hmm. tutaiangalia kupitia hizo lens tatu okay 
na zile ambazo tunaona zinapita hiyo hiyo mm-hmm. test okay. hatuna shida nazo Aha. zile ambazo zinaanguka hiyo test mm-hmm. tuna shida nazo na kuna zile ambazo tutasema to make proposals change hapa change pale change pale and we've made our presentation before parliament mm-hmm. but kuna zile zingine ambazo hata zikipita lazima kwa sababu zitakuwa zimekeuka hiyo hizo test tatu na misingi ya kikatiba mm-hmm. lazima tutaenda kotini ku, ku, ku uh, ku uh, ili mahakama kupinga ili mahakama pia iweze kutupatia interpretation yake. Okay. Yes. Okay. Um uh, tukiachana tuk, na hayo mambo ya finance bill pamoja na mambo ya housing fund, housing levy, housing tax uh, manake do wakili umetuambia vile vile ilivyo this is a tax. Manake ni ni, ni lazima uweze ku contribute. Tuingie katika masuala ya siasa kidogo na jana viongozi wa au wabunge katika upande wa azimio la umoja wa Kenya walikuwa na parliamentary group meeting na walikuwa na jadili masuala tofauti tofauti na baadhi ya mambo ambayo aliyazungumza pale ni kwamba kuna wabunge ambao wako katika jubili chama cha jubili ambao ni muungano au ni chama ambacho katika muungano wa azimio la umoja wa Kenya lakini wameonekana kufanya kazi na serikali ya Dr. William Ruto ya Kenya kwanza. Na they were very clear ya kwamba jitaarisheni kwa sababu kutakuwa na by election. Wakili. Kwa wale ambao ni viongozi wa azi, viongozi wa jubilee ambao wanafanya kazi na Kenya kwanza wakasema kwamba jitaarisheni kutakuwa na by election. Um, sheria inasemaje kuhusiana na haya? Ni kwamba ndio nimechaguliwa na chama cha wakili Eric Theory lakini nataka kufanya kazi na Frank Dida kuna makosa <laughs> <laughs> Naam kuna makosa kwa sababu uh, there's, there's what we call uh, uh, unajua unajua hata katika ndoa uh-huh. lazima ukuwe na faithfulness okay <laughs> <laughs> no cheating partners yes so okay. in, in, in also political parties they okay. have to be that maturity mm-hmm. and uh, uh, fidelity to um, uh, the ideals okay. of a political party mm-hmm. tuna shida kwa sababu uh, sana bado tunaendele tu uh, political parties zetu mm-hmm. uh, hazina ile kitu ambayo tunaita ideals mm-hmm. Atuna, hazina ile msimamo ambayo unaweza sema kuwa hii chama iko na msimamo okay. na ukiangalia katiba katiba in, 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 in um, inapendekeza kuwa kila chama iwe na msumamo wake ndio maana unaona kuna mpaka political parties fund because uh, tunasema kuwa zile political parties lazima zipatiwe funding mm-hmm. na, uh, na 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 serikali kwa sababu mm-hmm. political parties are the movement are the, the means for mobilization okay. of political leadership na vile uh, uh, inchi in inavyokuwa governed. Mm-hmm. So ukiwa kwenye chama for example cha jubili no. Lazima ufuate masingi misingi na maadili ya chama cha jubili. Chama cha jubili. Okay. Kwa hivyo huwezi kuwa kwenye chama cha jubili na una uh, uh, ele, uh, nisimamisha misingi ya chama kingine. Mm-hmm. Kitu the, the, the correct thing to do is to resign from the party because you no longer uh, believe in the ideals of the party mm-hmm. and move to another party okay. and if you are in parliament then you get elected mm-hmm. on on that other party okay. so what what uh, that that is the the the, the, the political um, that is what the the tot, the sum total of our political uh, uh, laws and the constitution mm-hmm. would dictate okay yes okay mm-hmm. um katika swala lingine tena wakili jana tumeona ukaguzi wa nomini wa National Intelligence Service Director General ambaye uh, ni DPP Nurdin Sufahaji mm-hmm. na nafikiri ulikuwa unafuatilia yale mahojiano pale na baadhi ya masuala ambayo alikuwa anazungumzwa ni kwamba kuna kesi nyingi sana ambazo zinazohusiana na masuala ya ufisadi ambazo DPP Nurdin Sufahaji ame ameziachilia Uh, kwa sababu ya kusema kwamba labda kwa sababu moja au nyingine zile kesi zikatupiliwa mbali. Mm. Um, aliweza kuuliza swali hili lakini kwa sababu um, 
unakaa katika low society of Kenya maoni yako ni yapi kuhusiana na haya wakili unajua uh, tuseme uh, hivi katika she- ki- kisheria mm-hmm. DPP amepewa uwezo wa kuweza ku uh, ondoa kesi okay ama kuanzisha kuchukua kesi ambayo imeanzishwa na mtu mwingine na kuiendeleza. Mm-hmm. So kitika tiba na huo uwezo. Okay. Kitu cha pili ni uh, wakati anapo, anapofanya hivyo mm-hmm. uh, haziondoi yeye mwenyewe kibinafsi. Okay. Anaenda kotini mm-hmm. na akifika kotini anaeleza mahakama. Mm-hmm. Ningependa kuondoa hili kesi mm-hmm. kwa sababu moja, mbili, tatu, okay. nne. Mm-hmm. Mahakama inasikiza mm-hmm hiyo uh, obi lake mm-hmm. inakubaliana naye ama inakataa kukubaliana naye okay. uh, ili jambo la kuondolewa kwa kesi kwa hivyo si, si jambo la kitu ambayo unaweza sema ni kitu ambayo DPP hana hizo hana huo uwezo okay. kwa hivyo lazima iangaliwe kesi baada ya kesi uh-huh. Kumbuka kuwa DPP pia ni mwanachama wetu. Mm-hmm. Uh, na kwa sababu ya kuwa president wa law society pia nakaa kwenye bodi la ofisi ya DPP. Okay. Kwa hivyo tumekuwa na nafasi mm-hmm. ya kuweza kuangalia mm-hmm. sababu za hizi kesi mm-hmm. zingine kutolewa. Mm-hmm. Na kuna kesi ambazo tumepa, tumeona kuwa kulikuwa na msingi mzuri wa kuziondoa mm-hmm. na kuna kesi zingine tunaona kuwa pengine hata kuanzia mwanzo mm-hmm. hazinge fika kotini okay. na kuna kitu ambacho kinaitwa decision to charge mm-hmm. which is what now we've been uh, asking the DPP okay. uh, to ensure that they make the correct decision to charge okay. because saa zingine, saa zingine wana, wana, wanafanya huo uamuzi kwa haraka mm-hmm. ama wanafanya huo uamuzi Tume kwa mfano. Mm-hmm. Upatikane ume upatikane na, na umegombana na mtu mm-hmm. ukamuua ama ikasemekana umemuua ukiwa na damu mm-hmm. na ukapatikana uko na kisu ama ama, ama kisu ambacho kilimuua kili huyo mtu kimepatikana. Mm-hmm. Kulingana na eyewitness utasema mm-hmm. ni wewe walikuwa na mwisho okay. mkigombana na ule mtu na, na uh, ulio ondoka pale uki, ukionekana ukiwa na damu na, ka, na mambo mengine. Okay. Hivyo polisi wakikushika kwa ule ushahidi ambao uko unaweza kuwa unaonekana kuwa kweli mm-hmm. ni wewe ambaye umeua huo mtu. Mm-hmm. La, sasa kwa hivyo lakini kuna ushahidi mwingine ambao unahitajika. Ile kisu ambayo ilipatikana na ile damu imefanywa DNA kuconfirm kuwa kweli kama fingerprints zako ziliko kwenye ile kisu mm-hmm. kama kama ile damu ambayo iko kwa ile kisu ni ya ule mtu ambaye anasemekana ameuliwa mm-hmm. kuna mambo kadhaa ambayo yanatakiwa yafanyike na mm-hmm. pengine haya mambo yanaweza chukua muda kidogo ufanyiwe uchunguzi kwa wakina okay. utapata saa zingine kuwa uh, DPP ataanzisha mashtaka kwa sababu ameambiwa na polisi tunamalizia pale mm-hmm. na tuoni kama italeta tofauti kati ya ile. Okay. Sasa anaanzisha hiyo kesi. Mm-hmm. Baadaye ushahidi unakuja unaonyesha kuwa kweli ile kisu na si ile kitu ambayo ilitumika kumuua. Mm-hmm. Unaona hapo sasa ina, inabidi angushe kesi. Mm-hmm. Ama polisi walikuwa wamemuelezea tutafanya kitu fulani ambayo sasa hawajafanya mm-hmm. na imebadilika. So kulikuwa na mambo ambayo Uh, ya, yalifanyika ambayo si mazuri okay. na uh, kuangalia mbele tumesema tafadhali kabla ufanye uamuzi no. yeah? mm-hmm. angalia sheria inasema nini okay. kama hauna ushahidi wa kutosha usimpeleke mtu kotini okay, yeah. okay. Mm-hmm. Um, wakili muna um, umekana na, na, na rais labda uh, dr william ruto kuna wakati tume tume uh, tumemwona Uh, ikulu wakati uh-huh. tulikuwa tuna, tunaitisha anzishe commission of inquiry okay. kuangalia into extrajudicial killings uh-huh. mm. mlikana eh tulikana ilikuwa lini uh, ni kitambo sana ilikuwa kitambo sana ilikuwa wakati kitambu. tulikutukianza okay. yeah. so si ati kwamba na consult labda au mnazungumza from time to time na hatuzungumzi hmm. lakini unajua uh, 
kuna wale ambao tuta consult much more regularly uh-huh. attorney general uh-huh. uh, dpp uh, na wakati tuna kitu unajua mm-hmm. uh, ama tukiwa na serikali ambayo inachukua mkondo wa kisheria ambao hatufurahi mm-hmm. tutazungumza na attorney general ama kama kuna, kuna mawaidha ambayo tuko nayo kulingana na kitu chochote ambacho serikali inafanya kwa sababu attorney general ndiyo the legal advisor wa serikali okay. so ule ndio ule mtu ambaye tuwazungumza mm-hmm. sana Mfu, na, mara kwa mara uh, yeah. all right mm-hmm. um, ikiwa leo wakili utapata nafasi na nafikiri umesema mwenyewe tukianza hapa ya kwamba hata wewe pia unajaribu angalau kuweka gari mafuta ndo angalau uweze kufanya shughuli zako uende kazini uje radio maisha tuweze kuchanganua maswala hivi angalau kuwafumbua macho wa Kenya na, na vitu kama hivyo ukipata nafasi na rais dr william ruto au hata naibu wake rigathi geshagwa unaweza kuambia nini utao advice nini wakili Tutaeleza kuwa wa pause. Okay. Wajiulize wakati waliingia kwa serikali ni mkataba gani walitengeneza na Wakenya? Uh-huh. Mkataba ambao walitengeneza na Wakenya ni kuwa watapunguza gharama ya maisha. Uh-huh. Wanafanya hivyo? Uh-huh. Kwa matendo, si kwa maneno, uh-huh. but kwa matendo. Uh-huh. Wakati Rais Ruto aliingia aliingia na akapeana order ya austerity measures. Mm-hmm. Akasema kuwa hii pesa, hii pesa, hii pesa kukakatwa tukajua kumekatwa kama mm-hmm. 2200 300 billion mm-hmm. from in terms of austerity measures. Hizo mm-hmm. pesa zilienda wapi? Mm-hmm. Kwa muda mchache ambao Rais Ruto amekuwa kwenye serikali mm-hmm. wamekopa kutoka kwenye international lenders from the local market pesa nyingi sana hizo mm-hmm. pesa zimeenda wapi okay. hatuzioni no. hatuzifeel mm-hmm. ukiangalia hayo mambo mawili mm-hmm. unajiuliza swali la tatu mm-hmm. mbona baada ya hivyo kuweka austerity measures kukopa pesa zaidi bado mwataka kuchukua pesa nyingi zaidi na kodi mbona hizi pesa hatuzioni no. hospitali hazina madawa mm-hmm. county serikali za county mwisho zilipewa pesa machi lelewa kuwa serikali za county sasa kwa karibu sasa ndio za saidia wananchi wa kawaida mm-hmm. uweka madawa hospitali kutengeneza barabara peleka watoto wa uh, ECD shuleni na, na mambo kadhaa ya ukinyima county pesa ukiuliza judiciary hawana pesa za kutosha mm-hmm. mishahara za judges mishahara za magistrates zachelewa mm-hmm mishahara ya wafanyikazi kwa kawaida mm-hmm. utasikia health workers wafanyikazi wengine mishahara ya chelewa hizi mm-hmm. pesa zaenda wapi alright lazima tujiulize hizo maswali mm-hmm. ajiulize hayo maswali na ajiulize anafanya haki kwa wale wa Kenya ambao waliamka asubuhi wakiamini kuwa atawapunguzia gharama ya maisha okay ajiulize hilo swali akae chini aangalie zile appointment ambazo wanafanya hizo appointment zina reflect the face of Kenya mm-hmm. ama zina bagua okay. wa Kenya okay. wengine ajiulize hilo swali mm-hmm. alafu mwishowe ajiulize hawa watu wote ambao wana propose kuweka kwenye serikali amekuja anataka kuweka CAS karibu 50 mm-hmm kila CAS alipo karibu shilingi milioni moja. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Izo pesa ambazo analipa hawa CAS azingetumika kuingine ku cushion mm-hmm. wananchi wa kawaida ambao wanaumia. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Dola imepanda. Bei ya mafuta yapanda kila siku. Mm-hmm. Hakuna kitu ambacho hakipandi. Mm-hmm. Kwa hivyo lazima ajiulize hayo maswali. Mm-hmm kae ajite mkutano mm-hmm. na agundue kuwa ile jukumu ambayo alipatiwa kwa sasa hivi haifanyi okay. 
lakini ana nafasi ya kurekebisha mwendo na kusema kuwa sasa nitaanza kutumikia wa Kenya na wa Kenya kitu ambao wanataka kuona wanataka kuona services okay ni sema asante sana wakili Eric Theory ambaye ni president wa Law Society of Kenya lakini pia natumaia kwamba tutawaona mkizungumza zaidi uh, wakili kama Law Society of Kenya tutaona hatuna sisi tumepatiwa jukumu uh, la kuzungumza no. na, na sheria mm-hmm. kuzungumzia mambo ya kisheria mm-hmm. kuzungumzia mambo ya kikatiba okay. na hatuta hatuta sita okay kuzungumza wakati tunahitajika kuzungumza. Okay. Yeah. Tutakuwa hapa wakili na tutazidi kutafutana kuzungumza zaidi na kama hamzungumzi tutawauliza haya maswali ya kwamba umesema mlipatiwa jukumu la kuzungumza lakini hatuwaoni mkiazungumzia haya. Ni sema asante sana uh, wakili Eric Theory ambaye ni president wa Law Society of Kenya kwa kuweza kuwa nasi ndani ya studio zetu asubuhi ya leo katika bunge la maisha naona sama mani uko nasi pole tumekula muda wako sam <laughs> lakini ilikuwa lazima tuweze kujadili maswala haya wakili tutazidi kutafutana kuzungumza zaidi pole sana pia najua tu umeteseka sana na Kiswahili lakini <laughs> angalau tumeweza kuelewa uh, yale ambayo ulikuwa unajadili shukran sana wakili kwa kuweza kuwa nasi Asante nimeshukuru unajua shida yetu ni tuafikiria kwa kizungu uh, alafu ndio tafsiri <laughs> No, Nimeshukuru no. sana. Thanks. Karibu sana wakili. Nice suit by the way. Uh-huh. <laughs> Asante sana kwa kuweza kuwa nasi wakili Eric Theory ambaye tunajua ni uh, president wa Law Society of Kenya na definitely tutakaribisha tena uye uh, ndani ya studio tuzungumze zaidi. Wakati wote niko tayari uh-huh. na nitafurahia tena uh, ku, ku, kuja ku, ku, kuzungumza na nyinyi na uh, tuweze ili because hii nchi ni yetu sisi wote kabisa. Na wakati kuna, kuna kitu ambacho kinafanyika ambacho si kizuri lazima tuseme la wakati kuna kitu kizuri kitafanyika pia no. lazima tuseme exactly yeah. asante sana wakili kwa kuweza kuwa nasi na msuzi wetu shukrani sana samani pole sana